Good morning, and thank you for joining us. If this is your first time running the image analyzer, you're going to notice a couple of screens that come up. The first is going to be this notice telling you it's the first time you're running it. The next screen that comes up will have a Cognitive Services API key and a Cognitive Services API endpoint. The API endpoint is just a URL. The Cognitive Services API key will actually get from Azure. We'll go onto the portal.azure.com website. And when we connect into it, you'll see we're just in a regular portal.azure.com site. Just refresh the site just to show you. you know, there's no smoke and mirrors here. Um, then we go into Cognitive Services. We'll, we'll go ahead and click the Cognitive Services link. And we'll click the Add button to add Cognitive Services. Once again, I'm going to type in Cognitive Services. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the search item. And then I'm going to click Create. Pretty easy to create. It's going to prompt me for a name, subscription, I'm using a free trial here. I'm going to name it Wingtip Toys CS for Cognitive Services. I'm going to select my location as the East US. I have East US. I can also start typing East US. There's other countries for our international partners. My pricing tier, I'm going to select S0 and my resource groups. As you see, I don't have any. So I'm going to create a new one called Wingtip Toys AG. Excuse me, Wingtip Toys RG. And just one hint, if you are using a browser session that's in private, you may run into a problem saying that there's a global setting for data center and it's not accepted. You have to set a specific data center. In addition, um, read and confirm the notice before clicking the checkbox and then create your service. The deployment will be in progress. You can see it with the little alert bell in the upper right hand corner. And if you click on that, it'll tell you that the service is in the process of deploying. And once the deployment succeeded, click Go to Resource. And within here, you've got a couple of things. One is the API location. The other is grab your keys. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the endpoint. And I'm going to paste it into the Image Analyzer application under Cognitive Services API endpoint. Then I'm going to go back and get my key. Now, there's a couple ways I can copy the keys. One is the highlight and copy. The other is, and I'll show you in just a second after I paste this in, the click to copy button. Both will give you a, a copy that you can paste in here. And then once you're done, click save. 